Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I will be making Karak Chai. Karak Chai is a specialty tea uh, drank in the Arab world and it's uh, called Karak Chai because there's a special ingredient that is used which is cardamom. You can either use cardamom milk or you can use the actual raw cardamom pieces if you don't have the milk. I will go into further details later on about the cardamom but for this chai you will need a pot of course a cup of water we will be making tea for one person today some tea I'm using Lipton yellow tea some sugar to your liking and then the cardamom now if you're not a big fan of cardamom you can always take that out and just go ahead and make the chai but since we are making karak chai we will be using cardamom today and we I will be particularly using the cardamom milk because I already I don't need the raw pieces I already have the cardamom flavor if however you don't have the milk you can use the cardamom raw pieces you will only need one or two and you will need to put that into your boiling water along with the tea bag and let it boil along with the tea Okay, so let's go ahead and watch how this is made. Okay, so here I've already poured my cup of water into the pot and I've turned my stove on to the highest level, to the highest level so it can come to a boil. Okay, so viewers here, I am in, the water has come to a boil and I'm going to drop in my tea bag. Now, once you put your tea bag in there, you need to put your heat down to medium, medium high is good, and just let the tea bag boil a little bit longer, one about a minute or two, so the flavor, the, the flavor comes out more. Now, when it comes to the number of tea bags you should use, uh, one tip, a well, good tip to remember is you should never use the same number of tea bags as the number of people you are making the tea for. So if you're making it for 10 people, you don't necessarily need to use 10 tea bags. That might make your tea very strong. Uh, uh, one moderate way to go about it is you cut down one tea bag from the number of people that you're making. So if you're making it for 5 people, you use 4 tea bags. If you're making it for 10 people, you can even cut it down to 8 tea bags. Also, it depends on your liking. It depends on your liking. If you like your tea very strong, you can use 9 or even 10. But the, the way I usually do it is I only use a little less than the number of people that are there. Okay, so after a minute or two, I'm going to go ahead and I'm using a tablespoon. And I have my cardamom milk here. I'm going to go ahead and put about 4 tablespoons. That's one, two, three, and four. <coughs> and just stir it a little bit on, so it mixes in with the tea. I'm going to keep my heat on medium, on medium high, so it, so it's the two flavors are hot enough to mix and, and uh, really blend the cardamom milk and the tea bag so let that simmer now this is where it it really matters well whether your chai will be good or bad if you keep the milk if you keep the carnation milk and the tea if you let it simmer for a while your tea will be rich and creamy and very tasty and it will actually taste like proper karak chai but if you take it off the heat very quickly it will taste like diluted diluted basically tea that's very watery just a health tip on the side always put your carnation milk in a plastic container like this never leave it in the can it is not good for your health Sometimes I would like to go back and put one more tablespoon because it gets really dark at the end, the tea darkens. 
Uh, the longer the tea bag sits there, the longer the tea will darken. I also like to take the tea bag out after a minute or two. After I put the carnation milk, I let it simmer for five minutes with the tea bag, and then I will take the tea bag out because I don't want my tea tasting too strong or bitter. So I will let it simmer for another three minutes along with the tea bag, and I will take the tea bag out and let it simmer for another five minutes. Okay, so this is after I've let my tea simmer for a total time of 10 minutes. I let it simmer for five minutes with the tea bag, then I took the tea bag out and let it simmer for another five minutes. And now my karak chai is ready. I've already gone and put the sugar into my teacup. Now I'm going to pour my tea into my cup and stir it spoon. Have it here is some karak chai served with some glucose or no or you can even go ahead and use oval tea biscuits it goes amazing together I hope you enjoy this recipe and if you subscribe and like you would appreciate it